Ann's kitchen. Today, we're going to be taking this little guy and turning it into a cake. There's going to be a lot of things you're going to need. Let's just start with the dry ingredients. Flour. The four tablespoons of flour in this bad boy right here. And then, four tablespoons of sugar. And here comes the best part. Two tablespoons of cocoa. And for our last dry ingredient, we need four teaspoons of baking powder. Now would be a good time to mix this bad boy up. If you wanted, you could probably eat it like this. Next, just take one fucking egg. It's gonna kinda look like diarrhea, but just keep going. Now we need some milk. Probably about, uh, about three tablespoons worth. That ought, to, that ought to do it. And if you don't like milk, just go ahead and use water. Now mix it up till it gets to the consistency of baby diarrhea. That's what we're really looking for. And one last thing, don't forget the splash of vanilla. Tastes like chocolate. Follow me! Whoa! Now, we put it in the microwave for two and a half to three minutes. What you're looking for is for the cake to start rising above the top of the mug. In the meantime, think about why you're making this chocolate mug of cake in the first place. Are you bleeding? Did your diva cup not go in the right way? <laughs> Do men suck in general? <laughs> well, this mug cake is definitely for you. Also, it's a good idea to make sure you're pretty drunk. Looks done. Be sure to clear the extra seconds unused off the microwave. So this is what it looks like. You have some options once you get to this stage. You should let it cool off for maybe a minute or two, and then you can dump it on a plate and share, or drizzle the fuck out of it with chocolate syrup and eat it yourself. All of it! Let's do a taste test. Yes. Here's to you, mug chocolate cake. Cheers to you. See you next week.